Welcome everyone to my season 3 finale for the review series. Last week I reviewed the PS4 Pro and as promised, this week it's the Xbox One X. The Xbox One X is the most powerful 8th generation game console ever made. It has a 4K Blu-ray player and plays 4K games. Just like the PS4 Pro, it can be used in two modes. But this one does something different. So or you can play 4K in 60 frames per second without HDR on, or 4K with 30 frames with HDR on. This console is smaller and lighter and I love the design. A small fun trivia is that this game console can play CD-ROMs. Yeah, remember those? Alright. Let's get the tech specs out of the way first. The Xbox One X comes with a 1TB old school hard drive and 12GB of RAM, an 8 core CPU, and a custom made Xbox One X GPU. The ports include an AC plug, an HDMI in port, an HDMI out port, 3 USB 3.0 ports, a digital audio port, an Ethernet port and an IR receiver on the front. It comes with the Xbox One X controller and it's pretty comfy and ergonomic. I love how it feels, but it comes with W batteries. So yeah, that sucks. A good thing about owning an Xbox is that it runs the same games you have on your Windows PC and you can even subscribe to Xbox Game Pass to blend your Xbox and PC into one hybrid game console. The OS is gorgeous and super easy to use. But just like the PS4 Pro, this uses an old school hard drive, so loading games takes ages. Speaking of games, I tested this console with two games, Just Cause 4 and Red Dead Redemption 2. Just Cause 4 is pretty buggy and unstable, on any platform to be honest, so it runs pretty bad on the Xbox One X. This is not their fault, it's just the developer's fault. Red Dead Redemption 2 is the biggest console game I ever owned, but it runs smooth and the console has no problem holding up with the heavy game. So, so now that the Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S launches, should you buy this console? Guess what? Nope. This console is great, but it has the same fate as the other consoles. No more support for future games. So pointless. The Xbox Series X and S can run Xbox One games plus the new ones. Thank you for this amazing Season 3 review series. Just two more episodes to go and Season 3 is over. For the final two episodes for the talk series, I will do a double finale episode. See you next week for part one of maybe the last talk on this channel. This is Jamie from Jamie's Place, and as always, see you next time.